National Anthem of Canada, the National du Canada.
changement du côté du Canada. Et bien sûr, euh, nous retrouvons euh, le Challenge EDF avec l'équipe de France lors du prochain match. Le Challenge EDF, c'est ça, vous êtes sélectionné dans la tribune et puis vous avez la chance de rejoindre le parquet pour un petit, euh, petit tournoi de basket en opposition Et à la fin, si vous arrivez à marquer le panier, pour remporter une place pour les Jeux Paralympiques. Vous pouvez vraiment des tours avec nous sur le match de l'équipe de France.
21. Et vous savez, cette opposition très très serrée, Anthony, très clairement, on assiste à un super match où les deux équipes inversent tout à fait à chaque fois leur position. Et on va basculer maintenant dans le bord de ce temps. Pause avec les Fitchi, Sala, Filipa, c'est la toi. Massad.
Wisconsin. Wisconsin has it swatted away. Higgins has it with seven on the shot clock for Canada. As Melimic was looking to pounce and the whistle has gone. Golem Assad. Golem Assad driving to the hoop and Iran won an unsportsmanlike foul. Referees just conferring with each other. And it will not be an offensive foul, it will just be a regularly classed foul and Iran up by Three points right now, first foul on Nick Gonsin. And they're just actually gonna go to the monitor just to check if this is an unsportsmanlike foul or not. Not just cameras here on the IWBF YouTube live stream, but also as well up above where our cameras are situated exclusively for the officials should they use should they need it as Golem Assad on Nick Gonson and Iran will get the ball and possession And as uh, Fahid Golem Assad gets his free throws up, we'd uh, like to welcome you to the IWBF YouTube channel. We were having some uh, minor technical difficulties. As this game was progressing, hopefully you can hear my voice now. John Hobbs keeping you company for this encounter. Good to have you all on board, wherever you are across the globe. Get your comments in on the YouTube channel. Let us know where you are, where you're watching. Good to have you all on board as Iran have a three-point lead here against Canada. Canada, who enjoyed a lot of success in the past. They have an illustrious history here in the wheelchair basketball folklore. As the shot clock is winding down for Siari. Siari is fouled with nine-tenths of a second left on the shot clock. Bo Hedges, the culprit. And that'll be Bo Hedges' first foul. As Siari will go to the foul line. And Siari, who had 26 points, 13 rebounds in the opening game or opening day against France, an agonizing 63-62 defeat. And he followed that up with 17 points, five boards in the loss against the Netherlands. Both teams currently 0-2, looking to make it third time lucky. Here in Antibes, France, Gonsin. Gonsin looking for options, a cross pass to Higgins, who was Hot from downtown in the first quarter, but has cooled off a little since then. He hasn't scored in this second period yet, has 10 points. As Garrett Stepchuk and Chad Jasman prepare to check in. Bo Hedges and Lee Melamick will come out. Iran with a 26-22 lead. Three minutes played in the second period. Siari. Siari looking inside and the 
Garancic was inside going for the layup. He's going to go to the line. He was a real menace inside in the first period, especially in the first five minutes. Fantastic off-ball movement from the Iran at number 14. And now we'll go to the foul line. Garancic, who was inserted into the starting five today, gets the friendly roll for the second, and Iran have stretched their lead to 27-22. As Gonsin has it. Higgins. Higgins at the top. Higgins blows past Golem Assad. A step chuck back to Higgins. Shot clock winding down. Beautiful basketball from Canada. The finish from Delaire. Who made his senior team bow in 2014. Four world championships in both junior and senior level. And he is off the mark here in the repechage. Here is Golem Assad. Risky pass, finds Siari who finishes. Great find from Valer Golomashad, who is settling back into national team duty following an eight year hiatus. Gonsin. Gonsin goes up for a long two. That's off the, the back, and that'll be Iran ball. Gonsin. Yet to get off the marker. Man who was born in Sarajevo in Bosnia-Herzegovina and now resides in Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm sure there are a lot of Saskatchewan natives watching this IWBF live stream. A lot of the Canada players at one point or another have played their wheelchair basketball in that province as inside the miss there from Mohamed Nejad. Higgins looking to push. Gonsin rattles around, goes out, and a foul is called before Higgins was under the basket going to shoot. So Canada will get the ball with 5.08 remaining here in this second quarter. Gonsin. Higgins. Higgins across for the shoot for Canada. Gonsin again. That's a hat trick of misses for Nick Gonsin. Higgins for three. But again, Canada get it. Here's a step chuck. But good defense from Golem Assad, who's been a major presence for Iran in this game thus far at both ends of the floor. Mortesa Ebony going inside, no good, gets another bite of the cherry and banks it home. And Canada losing their way a little bit here. And Iran have a 31 to 24 lead with 4.33 remaining. So if you've just joined us on the IWBF YouTube channel, welcome everybody. Second game of the day, earlier on Colombia defeated Morocco in our first game. As we see some highlights of what has transpired so far? Canada down by seven. They finished in third in the recent Parapan Games, qualifying them for this repercharge tournament. At the recent World Championships in Dubai, they finished in sixth place. But they have an illustrious history in wheelchair basketball, of course. They won the gold at the London 2012 Paralympics. Patrick Anderson averaging 25 points, three triple doubles in their eight straight win gold medal success 
in the British capital. Nick Gonsin, though, who's come off the bench and has been a good playmaker for this uh, Canadian team. He actually led the Canadians in Dubai, averaging 16 0.5 points a game and a shade under five boards. But right now with 4.33 remaining, the World Championship bronze medalists in Iran who got the job done over the Netherlands in Dubai take a 31-24 lead. Of course, the Netherlands getting a measure of revenge yesterday in a 61-53 victory. Iran coach Bestra was eager to keep turnovers down today. 17 turnovers against the Netherlands. And they've only committed one turnover in this game. So vastly improved, albeit two more quarters to play. As inside and the foul. The bucket there from Vincent Delaire. Great patience, looking to get to his spot. And he gets it to drop. As you see there, the fake. Leaving Gollum Assad for dust. As Dallaire, who came eighth in the Tokyo Paralympics for Canada. Apparently a huge video game fanatic as well. I'm not sure if he's an Xbox or a PlayStation guy. I'm not sure, but either way, Canada will get the ball back. An offensive foul was called. I believe that was on Gollum Assad. If that is, that's his second foul. And it is, as Dallaire has it. Here is Higgins. Higgins dumps it off, Dallaire again inside. This time it's too strong. Gollum Assad. Looking for a bit of personal revenge over Dallaire for that last play. Here he is on the ball, still has it. Foul called before he got the pass off to Ciari. 3.52 remaining here in the half. Been a competitive game thus far. Iran's biggest lead of the game was seven points. It's been slimmed narrowly now to five. Ciari with Delaire for company, but the finish emphatic from Mohammed Hassan Ciari. Higgins looks to respond straight away, and that's short. He hit a three-pointer in the first period. He is the leading three-point marksman of this repechage. Seven to shoot for Canada. Higgins has it back. Inside it goes to Gonson, and Gonson with his back to the basket makes no mistake. Looking for his third Paralympic appearance, Nick Gonsin appeared in Rio 2016 and Tokyo as well as Gonsad with the reverse layup. And Golem Assad has nine points. Unquestionably his best performance of these repechage tournaments so far as a collision of wheels as Higgins heads to the floor as well as Ciari. As you see the replay, Higgins was looking for options. And the foul called. And into the game for the first time, Reed De Eith. Wheelchair Basketball Canada's Junior Athlete of the Year in 2020 tried Sledge hockey and paranordic skiing before sticking with wheelchair basketball and now a proud member of the Canadian senior team. A fantastic career ahead of Reed De Eith. Here 
Here is Gonsin. 2.40 remaining in the second period. Here is De Eith, a high arcing shot, no good. Rebounded by Abedi. As Monsell inside lays it in, he's into the game. Monsen Tamadash. And the man who plays his basketball for Fenerbahce in Turkey, in Turkey, sorry, with the finish as we see the replay. Tough finish from Tamadash. And Iran have ballooned their lead to nine points as Bo Hedges has it. Hedges, an offensive foul called on Canada. I think that'll be on Reed de Eith. And if it is, that'll be his first foul. Off the bench it is. And Canada right now in danger of letting this game slip against a very skillful and very well-organized Iran side. So far led by 15 points from Mohamed Hassan Siari, who has led the team in their previous two encounters. Mohamed Abdi missed the two under the basket. Excuse me, Hassan Abdi, who's looking for his third straight Paralympic appearance. He appeared in Rio and Tokyo. And he's into the game for the first time. Iran's number five. Gonsin. Gonsin to Delaire. Shot clock at eight for Gonsin, that's off the back iron. And on the follow was Bo Hedges. Canada trailing by seven. Ciardi looking for help. And a whistle has been Cool. Ball goes out of bounds. Canada will get possession. 121 remaining here in the half. Here is Hedges. Gonsin. Gonsin looking for help, finds it. And the shot is money from Melamic, who made his senior team debut in 2018 in Hamburg at the World Championships. Currently studying chemical engineering. But representing Canada here at the Repachas tournament. Timeout has been called by Iran, looking to just halt any kind of momentum that Canada might have, with 104 remaining in the half. Canada right now shooting 48% from the field, Iran. 57%. They've gone to the align far 11 times, have made five of them. As you see some of the highlights there, Gonsin almost with his back behind the basket gets the two to fall. And another friendly roll. It thought about it, didn't it, for Nick Gonsin? He has four points, as you just saw his last two field goals. <laughs> Of course, following on from this game, we have the host nation, France, taking on the Netherlands in a battle for top spot in Group A. This is the other Group A game. Iran and Canada, both teams, as said, 0-2 and two right now, looking to make it third time the charm as positional spots all important ahead of tomorrow's big games that will determine who goes to Paris 2024. And an offensive foul has been called, I believe, on Abedi. And it is, that'll be his second foul. Abedi, one of three Iran players that played their basketball in Turkey for Galatasaray. Here is Gonsin looking to create some magic for the Canadians. 
Inside, beautiful passing again. Dallaire gets it to go and a bonus. Vincent Dallaire, especially in this second period with incredible off-ball movement, getting to the right spot at the right time off the feed from Lee Melamick. And he's off to the left with this free throw. 43.1 seconds remaining in the half, and Canada have slimmed the lead to three. 37-34, Iran have led for the majority. But don't want Canada to get ever closer as this second quarter winds down. As Sayari, or excuse me, Tamadash has it. Mosan Tamadash. Sayari now with the ball at the foul line. Good defense from Delaire, fading away off the back Aaron Solari. And away come Canada again. Final 15 seconds of the half. Shot clock is off. Gonsin. Gonsin puts it up from the elbow and puts it in. Nick Gonsin has six. Final seconds of the half. It's a one point game and a good end to the first half from Canada. They trailed by as many as nine points but have slimmed it to one. Thanks to a good spell of two minutes, the final two minutes, which Coach Ferriani has got to be extremely pleased with. And it's a fairly even second half in store here at the Azure Arena. Mohamed Hassan Sayari leading the way with 15 points and two assists. You can get two steals in that stat line as well for Iran. He's the only player in double figures. Vahid Golomashad, unquestionably with his performance of the tournament so far, he has nine points on four for seven shooting and five assists. Colin Higgins with 10 points for Canada. All 10 of those points came in the first period. But it's a fairly even game thus far. Iran leading 37-36. At the half, we'll be back in roughly 11 minutes' time. Don't go anywhere on the IWBF YouTube channel. Stick around.
everyone and welcome back to the Azure Arena here in Antibes on the southeast of France. And we have an entertaining third quarter in store for you as Iran take a one point cushion going into this third period. They lead Canada 37 to 36. Mohamed Hassan Sayari leading the way with 15 for Iran. Colin Higgins has 10 for Canada. All 10 of those coming in the first quarter. And it should be an exciting second half ahead. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the IWBF YouTube channel for this inaugural IWBF Men's Repechage Tournament. The last chance for Paris as four spots remain. Who will join Great Britain, the USA, Australia and Spain in the French capital in the summer? Both teams 0-2, looking for their first win here in Group A. And following on from this game, it'll be the turn of the host nation France as they take on the Netherlands in a battle for top spot in that group. Hello everyone, John Hobbs on hand to give you all the best action of this second half. Great to have you on board wherever you are across the globe. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the IWBF YouTube channel. We hit over 11,000 subscribers after the first day of action here, which was fantastic. And also get involved on social media using the hashtag last chance for Paris. As Colin Higgins will get us started, a man from Rothsay, New Brunswick. He'll start us off in this third quarter. Canada, of course, following on from the Paralympics, will host the 2026 World Championships. That will be held in Ottawa. And the first shot of the third quarter going to Lee Melamick, a Toronto native. He misses his shot along the baseline. And here is Mortessa Abedi. Here is Siari. Siari looking for options, finds Golem Assad. Golem Assad with six to shoot for Iran. And the ball goes out of bounds, and Canada will get the ball back, as said in the first half. Alec Golem Assad probably having the game of his rep charge tournament thus far. He currently has nine points, started today's game. Man who last appeared for the Iranian national team back at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. Higgins. Mohamed Nejad for company. Here is Patrick Anderson. Anderson rolling, fading away, gets the two, but doesn't fall. Abedi. Abedi gets away from Melamek. Here is Sayari. Sayari passes it over Anderson. And the finish under the basket again, Abdul Jarancic, who had a fantastic first half, especially in the first quarter. Likes to get under the basket, has some great off ball movement, and he's shown it on many occasions here today as Delaire goes inside. The reverse layup is money. This on Delaire. Part of that bronze medal winning team at the Parapan Games had 10 points. Probably his best game of that tournament against Argentina. As Golem Assad now moves into double figures. He has 11. Higgins. Higgins driving to the hoop, but he's fouled and goes to the ground. Gavanchik as well went with him. That'll be his uh, first, or in fact, that'll be his fourth foul. My apologies. So foul trouble for Gavanchik, who has seven points for Iran. Here is Anderson. 
Anderson at the elbow gives it off to Higgins. Higgins puts up a three that grazes the rim. Colin Higgins, the leading three point marksman in this repechage tournament, has six three pointers in this tournament. Here is Sayari, misses the two. Good defense from Canada. And here is Anderson looking to get something going. Higgins to Delair. Delair just about collects. Higgins has a bit of room, decides to pass, is looking to pass it, and a whistle has gone under the basket as Lee Melamek is on the deck. Great sportsmanship there from Mohamed Hassan Sayari and teammate Patrick Anderson helping him up as well. As we restart play. Anderson. Seven to shoot for Canada. Anderson, a three, that's off the back iron. Anderson, who hasn't shot the ball very well in this repechage tournament. Three of 14 against the Netherlands. Eight for 20 against France. Golem Assad. Six on the shot clock for Iran. Again, Grancic inside, but he misses the layup on that attempt. He's getting so many looks to the basket. That's due to his quick movement as Higgins goes inside and gets the layup to fall. Found a slither of room and made no mistake inside. And the gap is one. Just over four minutes played here in the third period. Abedi. Nuno Masad to Sayari. Sayari puts it up. Goes glass, too strong, and Higgins says thank you very much. Higgins now with six rebounds to go with eight assists and ten points. And the score at the other end. Colin Higgins on triple-double watch here. Abedi. Offensive foul called away from the ball. And Canada, who have started this third quarter, electrifying. They have a one-point lead, having trailed by as many as nine. And now it's the turn of the World Championship bronze medalist to sweat a little. As Amareza Amadi comes into the game, man who plays his basketball in Spain for Valladolid. Hedges, Higgins, again Higgins looking for space, puts up a three himself, short, he's going cold from downtown after hitting a couple in the first period, Anderson at the elbow, double teamed, Higgins gets it back, shoots again, and again it's short, Amadi with the rebound, and Marissa Amadi. Golem Assad, nine on the shot clock for Iran. They're using the shot clock well here. And a careless turnover from Iran, who looked after the ball sublimely in the first half. Coach Dostra was keen to keep turnovers down in this game. They only had two in the first half. But already now with seven turnovers. Anderson. was looking for Melamic, but Melamic wasn't looking at the ball, so Anderson will go it himself. Patrick Anderson now two of seven from the field. Golem Assad dumps it off again. That man, Abdul Garanchik, has nine points, all of them inside under the basket, almost identical field goals. However, he is on four fouls, so he has got to watch what he does. Higgins. Anderson. A lot of the offense running through Higgins and Anderson. Delaire back to Higgins. Good defense. Anderson inside, gets it to go off the glass. Patrick Anderson. 
who averaged just shy of 15 points, seven rebounds and five assists at the World Championships in Dubai. He and Canada finished in sixth position. They have the keys to the 2026 World Championships in Ottawa. But they need to get to the Paris Paralympics first, and they need that first win. Shot clock winding down. Golem Assad fading away. Shot clock winding down. And Higgins again the rebound. Eight rebounds for Colin Higgins. Here is Anderson. Canada with a bit of momentum here, leading by one. Anderson, the floater, no good. Melamic, the rebound. And Bo Hedges will slow it down. Higgins dumps it off to Lair. That's a high degree of difficulty, but he blows the layup. Sayari. Sayari. Goes for the shot himself, and he rattles one in. And now Iran retake the lead. You feel that both teams will be wrestling for the lead on each possession now as the gap continuously falls to one point. Bo Hedges, he was looking for the catch and shoot. Sayari was there to meet him. Higgins puts it up from the foul line and gets the friendly roll. 16 for Higgins. Trying to equal his 26-point haul yesterday against France, where he was three of six from downtown. Had nine rebounds, six assists as well for good measure. Sayari. Sayari from the elbow. Nejad with the rebound. Sayari at the second attempt. Great to see fans from Canada, fans from Iran, and a few from Great Britain checking out the action as well as Patrick Anderson inside, off the feed from Higgins. Of course, Anderson, a 2012 Paralympian, Johnny Pollock, a 2012 Paralympian with Great Britain in his own right, checking out the action today. Good to have you on board. Here is Sayari. Sayari from the wing from downtown. That's short. Higgins, another rebound. Nine rebounds, nine assists, 16 points for Higgins. Higgins finds a bit of room, looking for points number 17 and 18, and he banks it home. The Rothsay New Brunswick native having himself a ball game here. Arissa Ahmadi looking for help, finds it in Gorham Assad. Gorham Assad himself looking for help. Final minute of the third period, Sayari from the foul line. That's off to the right, Nejad with the rebound. Iran getting a lot of offensive rebounds here in this stretch. Again, Gatsik going inside, blows the layup. Good off ball movement again from him. As he's looking for points number 10 and 11. And a whistle has gone as Higgins was fouled quickly by Amarissa Ahmadi. Of course, following on from this game, it's the other Group A clash between France and the Netherlands. That tips off at 3.30 local time. Day three wraps up with Germany against Italy. As the battle for top spot in Group B intensifies. Of course, earlier on, Colombia defeated Morocco. Higgins, a three, that's off. That misses everything. And Iran will get the ball back with 23.6 seconds remaining. It's been a tense third quarter, scrappy at times. Both teams, they know what's at stake here. Siari. 
final 10 seconds of this third quarter with the shot clock off. Abedi. Final seconds. Golem Assad lays it up and in. The reverse layup goes on the buzzer. A good ending to this third quarter from Iran. And the gap is one heading into what promises to be an enticing fourth period here in the Azure Arena here in Antibes, France. As Canada led by 18 points from Colin Higgins. He has eight points of those in the third quarter. They lead Iran 50 to 49. Sayari the high man with 19. As we see some of the highlights from the third period, Colin Higgins, two of his 18 there, and Abdul Gulachik has nine points, but what's impressed me is how he just finds the right spot at the right time under the basket, as Higgins getting the friendly Azure Arena roll to drop. Certainly promises, though, to be an exciting fourth quarter. Valer Golem Assad there on the buzzer to end the third period with that score. Lots for coach Matteo Ferriani to think about here as his troops prepare for the fourth quarter. Both teams again 0-2. Even Patrick Anderson just gave us a little thumbs up there. Of course, Patrick Anderson widely considered the Greatest wheelchair basketball player of all time. Definitely one of the most recognizable figures in our sport. Also as well, a very accomplished musician as well. Him and his wife Anna have a band called The Lay Awakes. And if you Google The Lay Awakes, you can head to their website, layawakes.com. And you can see Patrick Anderson in action as a musician. As we prepare to start this fourth period here in Antibes. Alain will get us underway here. Last chance saloon for Paris. Golem Assad. Looking for options under the hoop, finds it in Mohamed Nesad, and the foul has been called as... In fact, we'll have a brief delay of play as Colin Higgins hit the deck, he comes back up. Fresh 14 for Iran. Eight to shoot for Iran. Nejad inside, goes glass, gets the friendly roll. First field goal of this game for Nejad. Here is Anderson, a three, splash. Lighting it up just like the aluminous wheelchair he is on. And a turnover, a needless turnover by Iran. And look, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Patrick Anderson and Ciari, the spin. And Patrick Anderson decides to slow it down. Goes baseline and back-to-back -back scores for Patrick Anderson. Canada now have a four-point lead. What can Iran do to answer? Abedi, Golasak. Golem Assad looking for help along the baseline. Abedi with four to shoot. Thought about it and then rolled out. And away comes Canada again. Higgins in transition. Thank you very much. Time out, Iran. What a start to this fourth quarter from Canada. 
a quick seven and two start as Canada look to build on that advantage a wise timeout from Iran just wanting to calm things down halt any momentum that Canada have as Sayari with the only score for Iran there in this fourth quarter. Patrick Anderson lining up from downtown. He then decided to head to the baseline after his route was cut off for the fast break finish and swished a baseline shot. Four quick points for Anderson, 15 points overall. Average just shy of 15 points at the World Championships in Dubai. 22 points, 14 rebounds, eight assists in the bronze medal game against Argentina. And a three-time gold medalist and really announced himself as a force to be reckoned with with back-to-back -back MVP awards for Canada at the Junior World Championships in 97 and 2001. We all knew what a special talent he was going to be and he certainly has proved that. Few uh, breaks of play in between, but... Patrick Anderson loving his basketball still. Sayari, nine to shoot for Iran. Gets it back and puts it in. Here is Higgins. Higgins, who had a great first quarter, a great third quarter, went cold in the second. So far scoreless himself in this fourth, but early days yet. Higgins a three from the top, that's in and out. Canada now three of 12 from downtown. Sayari inside, gets it to go over Higgins. Anderson. Anderson fouled by Abedi. That'll be Abedi's third foul, so foul trouble creeping up on the Iran number 33. Higgins dumps it off inside and Anderson that baseline shot is too long how many times have we seen Patrick Anderson there but he missed that opportunity here is Tamadash Moshin Gamadash shot clock at six a three is up from Abedi and Anderson with the rebound and it's one on two here so Higgins is going to slow it down and wait for his brothers in arms to turn up. Anderson collects and it's short however Patrick Anderson will go to the line for two shots. See the foul there on the replay and Anderson frustrated with himself that he didn't get that to, to fall. We've seen him make it many times over his illustrious career, playing his basketball in Spain with Bill Bow. Of course, a number of uh, players in this uh, repechage play their basketball for Bill Bow. One of those that's looking on right now behind the basket where Iran is shooting uh, is Giulio Papi, whose Italy side will take to the court at six o'clock to face Germany in a battle of the teams 2-0 in Group B. Sayari. Sayari has a bit of room, decides to fake the shot and pass it off. Abedi puts it in. <laughs> Here come Canada again with Higgins. Here is Anderson. And again, Higgins under the basket and on the deck. Sayari accidentally glided into him. Iran trailing by two, 6-11 remaining in this fourth and final period. The foul is on Mohamed Nejad. That's his second foul. And a timeout has been called on the floor. 
As we mentioned, it is the last chance for Paris. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the IWBF YouTube channel. Get involved on social media platforms. Doesn't matter if it's Facebook, X, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitch, whatever. Get involved using the hashtag last chance for Paris. And a huge thank you as well to our partners and organizers of this event, Handy Sport, the IWBF, our official partners, EDF, Tissot, RGK, and the official basketball of the IWBF, Molten. Of course, as well, we've got to have a big special shout out to all the incredible local organizing committee members and volunteers here in Antibes, France. Special thank you for putting together an incredible event as the fans enjoying the action here on a sunny Sunday afternoon here in Antibes along the French Riviera. And the volunteers who have been incredibly welcoming willing to help at every opportunity always with a smile on their face and making our stay here in Antibes that little more unforgettable it's been fantastic still got another day of action after today as well Higgins Delaire Higgins gets it back with five on the shot clock. Higgins, that's long, that misses everything, and Sayari will let it run. I think he wanted a shot clock violation, but so there was still four-tenths of a second remaining on it before it went out of bounds. Iran trailing by two. As a three-second violation there on Madi Abassi is called. Abassi, who had a double-double yesterday against the uh, Netherlands. 11 points, 10 rebounds. Here is Higgins. 9 of 18 from the field. 2 of 9 from downtown for Canada's number 9. Anderson gets it to go. Shantamadash. Sayari, who has top scored for Iran in their opening two games here. Sayari looking for some magic and he strings one. Higgins. Higgins nearly lost the ball. Good defense from Sayari. Anderson along the baseline with 10 to shoot. Anderson is automatic from there. He has 21 points in unquestionably his performance of this Lepechage tournament. As we mentioned, hasn't shot the ball very well in the opening two games. Three of 14 and eight for 20 from the field against the Netherlands and France respectively. But shooting 50% here. As a whistle has gone, as Moshan Tamadash wanted that ball desperately to drop, punch the air when it went out. And that'll be a foul on Delaire. That'll be his third foul. As we see, just caught a glimpse of the reaction from Moshan Tamadash who plays his club basketball in Turkey for Fenerbahce Istanbul. Of course, Fenerbahce on the Asian side of the great city of Istanbul. Of course, Galatasaray and Besiktas play their basketball on the European side. And Mosan Tamadash misses the second. Here is Higgins. Higgins finds Anderson. Anderson had his path block a step chuck. Passes it back to Higgins. Higgins, the hot hand, is short. And the rebound swiped away there from Sayari. Mosan Tamodash gets past a step chuck. 
gets it to Mortessa Ebedi, who puts it in under the basket. And now Iran only trail by a point now. It's like a cat tactical game of chess between these two teams. Anderson, Anderson puts it up off the glass. No, too weak. And Sayani. Now, was that a foul on Sayani by Galata Stepchuk? I believe it was. That's foul number three for the young man, who was a major contributor to Canada's bronze medal success at the Parapan Games in Santiago, Chile. 14 points in the bronze medal game against Argentina. Cites his role model as Patrick Anderson himself, not a bad mentor to have. Moshan Tamadash. Abassi. Tamadash again. 3.35 remaining, gap is won. Iran looking to take the lead. Sayari. And that's off to the left. Here comes Anderson. Canada got to get some players back. Anderson might go it alone. Instead, he passes it off. The finish there from Melamic was lacking. Iran have another chance. 3.09 remaining. Abassi, offensive foul has been called. That could be crucial. Happened away from the ball. As we see the replay there, that was actually away from the camera view as it was fading away, but Canada have a chance again to extend their lead. Try and find a little more momentum here. This man has led the way for Canada points-wise. A step chuck, Delaire. Here is Higgins. Higgins puts it up. Knocks it down, Colin Higgins. Three-point lead for Canada. 2.41 remaining. Morshan Tabadash. Iran need to answer now. This game of significant importance for these two teams. Both 0-2 right now. Morshan Tabadash. This needs to drop. Doesn't. Rebound Higgins. Still a lot of time, but momentum certainly with the Canadians. Delaire, Delaire with a clear off to the basket, it's fouled. It's on the floor though, I think the foul was away from the ball. Mosan Pabadash with the foul, that's foul number three on the number 23. <laughs> Great to have so many comments and healthy debates on the IWBF YouTube channel. Great to have you on board. And it's going to be a rough and ready 12 or 2 and 12 seconds left in this one. <laughs> to anyone watching back in Canada, how's your heart rate doing right now? It's going to be a nervy last 2 minutes and 12 seconds for both Canada and Iran. They need to execute their offense when it matters most as the referees are checking the monitor. And referees being supported by this uh, revolutionary monitoring system, allowing them to just check, double check over any calls that they might want to have. Of course, re official, uh, excuse me, of course, Coaches can challenge any call, so an unsportsmanlike foul has been called. And Patrick Anderson will go to the foul line. A perfect 4-4 four four thus far. And make that five from five. 
Patrick Anderson, cool as a cucumber. Makes both. Who said there was a commentator's curse? Patrick Anderson doesn't care for the commentator's curse as he heads to the bench and Nick Gonsin comes into the game. Born in Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina, now resides in Regina, Saskatchewan. There's going to be a lot of natives from Saskatchewan watching on here. Higgins. Gonsin. Final two minutes. Shot clock at three. Gonsin. Short. Rebounded by Mohsen Tamadash. Iran need a score. They trail by five. Mohsen Tamadash inside. It goes. And nearly the finish there from Areza Ramadi. He'll go to the foul line with 1.46 remaining. Colin Higgins, who has played all but four minutes of this one, 22 points, 11 rebounds, 13 assists, a well-deserved triple-double for the man from Rothsay, New Brunswick, who only started playing this sport 10 years ago and within three years earned a spot on the men's roster and won his first gold medal for Canada at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. And looking to get Canada over the line at the third attempt, but Iran, they're not world championship bronze medalists for nothing. They will come at you. Still a lot of time. Canada need to be on their guard. Higgins, Sayari for company. And a foul at mid-court. As Higgins looking to eat away as much of the shot clock as possible. Iran in the penalty now, so Higgins will head to the foul line. Colin Higgins, a triple-double here today. Was one rebound shy of a triple-double in the bronze medal win over Argentina, actually, at the Parapan Games in Santiago, Chile. Averaged 11 points, four rebounds, and just under four assists a game in Dubai, where Canada finished sixth. A team with an illustrious history, but no doubt have encountered some challenges in replicating their past successes. Canada certainly would love to get to Paris in the summer before they head home for a world championship party in Ottawa. Canada, though, right now looking on course for their first win here at the Rep Charge. As Araza Amadi finally gets the clock going, but in fact, the shot clock, I think, was actually still running, so they're gonna just quickly reset that. Not the shot clock, the game clock, excuse me. There it is. And inside, Abassi, much needed score for Iran. Higgins turns it over. And a quick foul has been called. Chad Jasmine, the culprit, but I don't think he knew too much about it. It was a bit of a miscommunication there between Vincent Delaire and Colin Higgins. And Canada call a quick timeout just to calm things down, cool heads prevailing. As we decide the final four nations to take part in the Paris Paralympics taking place on the final week of August this year and ending on the 8th of September. A pivotal event deciding the final qualifiers for these 
Paris Paralympics, of course, also as well. Starting on the 17th, we have the women's of Epichage tournament taking place in Osaka, Japan. The Netherlands, Great Britain, USA and China have already booked their tickets and are boarding the plane to Japan. Well, excuse me, to Paris. Germany, Thailand, Algeria, Australia, Spain, France, Canada and Japan will take centre stage in the Far East in a couple of days' time. All the action from that repechage will be on the IWBF YouTube channel. Australia, Algeria will be the first game of that tournament. But it's all about the men right now, Abassi. Lobs it to Sayari. Sayari, who has 25 points in this one, needs to put it up, gets it to go off the glass. A step chuck wanted a three second violation on Ahmadi, but referee's not interested, and a foul has been called away from the ball. It's on Abassi, so Canada will get two shots. Crucial free throws here for Canada. 116 remaining. Wonder if any fans from Canada or Iran have any nails left at this rate as Higgins goes to the foul line, makes the first. Colin Higgins, all business for Canada. Colin Higgins strings the second. Crucial free throws for Canada. They're now 11 of 14 from the charity stripe here today. Three point game, 112 remaining. Mortessa Ebony finds a bit of room inside, misses the layup, gets it back again though, and gets it to fall at the second attempt. Got himself out of jail there, it's a one point game. A step chuck. Gonsin. Good defense from Nezad. Jasmine. Higgins. Got to put up something. Six to shoot. Higgins inside. Too strong. And Iran have a chance to take the lead. Sayari. Big possession for Iran. Inside it goes. Abassi puts it in. Iran have a lead. 71-70. Around a five-second differential between shot and game clock. Higgins. Gonsin, the extra pass off the window from Jasmine. Canada take the lead again. Timeout, Iran. 16.9 remaining. Both teams want third place. Both teams want to end their group stage play with a win. And Iran are involved in another encounter going to the final possession. But can they go one better than what they did against France and pull through or can Canada steal the show? Sixteen point nine seconds remaining in another thriller here in Ortib. Altib sandwiched between Nice and Khan. Khan, of course, renowned for its legendary movie festival, but this game 
is a true movie as well. Will it have an exciting finish for Iran or Canada? Who will be the hero? Who will be the villain? Who will taste glorious victory or bitter defeat? Here we go. Three second differential between shot and game clock. Sayari inside, it was a risky pass. Abedi gets it, gets it to go. He wants a foul. Nine seconds remaining, Iran have the lead. Timeout Canada. Ferriani wants to talk it over. Crucial, crucial possession this. Well, let us know your thoughts on the IWBF YouTube channel, what your game of the tournament has been so far. Certainly, this has given France Iran a run for its money. There's no doubt about it, but can Iran get that elusive win? Or can Canada bring home a victory? What a contest this has been. What an advert for wheelchair basketball. This is what it's all about. This is why we watch this incredible, enthralling sport that showcases the very best on the best stage of them all. And the incredible thing is Patrick Anderson is not on the court for Canada, so a step chuck. Gonsin, Gonsin off the glass, gets it to go, 4.4 remaining. Big shot from Nick Gonsin. Nick Gonsin, the Saskatchewan native right now, putting the locals over there in absolute hysteria. He led the team at the World Championships in Dubai, just under 17 points a game. And could he have given Canada a big win here? Iran have a lot of time, 4.4 seconds remaining. What a contest this has been. Nearly have to catch your breath here, even me on the commentary booth. Even the locals waving the French flags are having a blast. They're enjoying themselves. And they are being treated to an instant classic. Iran have the ball though, 4.4 seconds remaining. It all comes down to this, folks. Of course, we could see overtime as well. Be the first overtime game in this repechage tournament if that were the case. But Iran don't want overtime, they want to win. Canada want to hold on. Final possession. It all comes down to this. Sayari, shot clock, wind game clock winding down. Sayari puts it in, Sayari puts it in. Iran have won. Break for Canada, jubilation for Iran. And Iran have snuck away and have got a 75-74 victory. Sayari the hero, 29 points. Six rebounds, six assists, two steals. But two of those 29 points has given Iran a big win. <laughs> Commiserations to Canada. You see the coach there. Oh, goodness. Even he needs the trainer right now. Canada. Dejected, zero and three. They will finish 
without a win in the group phase here in Group A. But what a win for Iran here today, an instant classic, absolutely no doubt about it. France and the Netherlands have a lot to, they have a lot to do here on this one, just to catch up with that game, what a contest. But Iran have finished Group A with a win, they finish on a one and two record. There's the table in Group A, Canada prop up Group A with zero and three record, Iran one and two, France and Netherlands is up next to determine who finishes 3-0 and, oh and who finishes 2-1. Iran giving thanks to their small band of supporters. There are a few Iran fans here in attendance in Antibes as we look at the highlights of a thrilling encounter between these two terrific wheelchair basketball nations. Iran, though, on the buzzer, have come away.